we got some pretty big fire sales going on in Texas, okay? Texas, you know, a crap ton of houses. A lot of people are moving from California to going to Texas. Because at Texas, you could actually spend 400 k and get yourself an actual house with a piece of land on it. You could even grow tomatoes in the back. Whereas $400,000 in San Francisco or L.A., I don't even know where you can get $400,000 houses there. I mean, you're probably going to be getting like a 200 square feet closet with maybe a kitchen and a stove if you're lucky. So this is why Texas is getting really, really popular, especially with so many people leaving the California region. You have a lot of tech workers working online and even a lot of companies moving to areas like Austin. But of course, for all of the peeps out there who are trying to buy a home in Texas, especially Elon Musk City in Austin, you're kind of in luck because home prices are going to be dropping a decent amount. Because home prices in Austin have dropped $85,000 since last year. But of course, there's other places like San Antonio prices holding pretty steady. And some people are saying that certain suburbs in Dallas and Fort Worth are also holding very steady as well. But it's going to be very different. It's really weird for this real estate crash because certain areas are holding prices, but other areas are having really crazy drops in price. Now, Austin was considered a pandemic boomtown, especially with major promotions from celebrities. And of course, Elon Musk, when he said he was moving to Austin, I bet you a lot of other tech companies and CEOs all started moving to Austin. But now prices have finally died down. And if you look at Austin, a lot of people during the pandemic, these developers, they went all out. They borrowed so much money from the bank and they straight up just started building houses after houses after houses. And now you have pretty much more new construction homes on the Zillow map than secondhand homes. I mean, every single one of these homes are like new construction. And for example, this home, it's pretty good. It's a fantastic starter home in my opinion. I think it's a townhouse. 1600 square feet fantastic neighborhood amazing interiors and you do see some pretty good amenities you got a nice porch a communal backyard one garage very very cheap hoa four hundred seventy five thousand dollars. it's really not that bad of a price but prices are dropping a lot look at some of these new construction homes this is almost 2,000 square feet and it's three hundred fifty four thousand dollars. and this is austin guys you know, a lot of these homes are experiencing a massive shift downwards because like i said before during the pandemic these developers took advantage of that zero percent interest rates at first they were going to borrow like let's say 20 million dollars and then they went all out and borrowed 50 million dollars like they went hard on the borrowing and then at first they're like oh let's build 20 homes and then they build like 100 homes because at that point if you weren't borrowing a lot of money if you were not developing more houses than you could chew people think something is wrong with you so everyone went all out i mean it got to the point that when nfts of a coffee mug were selling for hundreds of dollars it got to that point where everything was really really bubbly and even good old very stable real estate investments like austin homes became very very bubbly and now if you go to austin you're going to be experiencing some pretty massive price cuts now yes you know the first page of zillow a lot of these homes were listed like in the past hour but if you go deeper down the list there's homes that have been listed for two three four months and none of them have been being sold not to mention austin also has some of the most expensive real estate pieces in the hometown us i mean luxury mansions are being built like crazy guys who accommodate all of the rich people out there and a lot of these massive mansions are being built in speed so if you also look around you know other areas it's probably because of the interest rates okay so austin experiencing a massive decrease in price it's not because people don't want to buy everyone wants to buy austin homes or texas homes in general but interest rates are just so incredibly high to the point that it's just not that profitable anymore it's very very difficult because interest rates they're super high 30-year mortgage actually jumped up to seven percent we also had the debt ceiling talk which apparently we haven't really gotten any notifications on whether or not the talks are successful. And then lastly, we also have, if we default on June 1st, here's what's going to happen, guys. We're going to be seeing the 30-year mortgage jump from 7 to 9 to even 10%. It is some scary hour stuff, guys. It's not exactly the greatest situation, and especially there's a lot of people who are pretty antsy. Right now, some developers are selling some homes for extremely cheap prices with amenities, or an extra 2-3% off, or even 5% off, just to get some of these homes off their hands. 
Remember, a lot of the loans in the real estate market are not fixed, meaning these developers are paying tens of thousands of dollars every single month just by holding onto these homes. They have to dump these homes as quickly as possible. Now, go back to Zillow map. Look at the amount of houses here. This is crazy. I mean, seriously, there's more new homes than used homes. And it feels like the more I zoomed out, the more homes they are. Like every little town, little city, little town name, there's always some sort of a new construction community. It's insane. Now, Dallas is even crazier. If you think Austin is crazy, look at Dallas's new construction homes. Delete their side graphs. And these are whole entire communities being built. And look at this, okay? You got advertisements. You got these whole entire crazy communities. You know, when you see like new, it's not just like one new house. I mean, it's like multiple new houses that they're trying to sell. And real estate agents are also panicking a little bit. I mean, there's still buyers, don't get me wrong, and there's still gonna be people who are gonna be buying these houses that are three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars because it's actually like pretty affordable. But majority of these homes are not selling at all. Head over towards Fort Worth. Some suburban neighborhoods prices are holding pretty steady, but some neighborhoods are having some pretty big fire sales. So if you're gonna be doing some Texas investing, I highly recommend get really custom to the location and look around. Texas real estate is by far one of my favorite ones. I highly recommend. Prices are pretty affordable. I mean, you could get a house for $364,000 in the burbs and you could rent it out for some money for some of the tech guys out there. I mean, Texas is having a massive inflow of population with a lot of California guys moving here, not only for remote work, but for other things like starting businesses and just pretty much it's a good environment. Okay, they support businesses unlike places like you know San Francisco where they want your money but they're not going to do anything about like the homelessness or crime. If you look at San Francisco real estate, it's dropping a lot. And this is thanks for the massive exodus of people. I mean, they started off with 815, 820,000 people. Now I'm guessing it's in the mid 700s. So, you're seeing a lot of massive outflow and inflow of people. Now, one misconception about the housing market right now is a lot of people think the whole entire, you know, US is dropping. That's not true. There's only certain areas in the U.S. are dropping. In fact, uh, half the areas in the U.S. are actually holding pretty steady, according to the latest Redfin report, whereas the other half is not holding steady and is dropping like a rock. We're also seeing commercial real estate dropping very, very hard as well, and that is actually pretty worrisome, and this is actually scaring a lot of people. So just be careful in the real estate market, guys. You're going to be seeing a lot of really incredible deals here and there, but also keep in mind that we could be seeing prices drop even more. Yes, the stock market is huffing and puffing going up, but also keep in mind that the bank stocks aren't doing well. We could be seeing a couple more small banks here and there collapsing, which is not my words. It's the words from Jamie Dimon and Warren Buffett from a couple months ago. So get ready. And before guys leave, make sure to check out the private Discord server, Patreon link below for some amazing trades. We trade live on a daily basis every single day. And it's $10 a month. Patreon link below. Sign up, join us. Connect Patreon with Discord. It's super easy. And get alerts and trades from like 15 different traders. Stocks, cryptos, options, you name it. We have a very dedicated following of two, 300 people. And they stay because it's a fantastic server for a fantastic price.